Yesterday, my Ancestry DNA kit turned up in the post. Um, I ordered it on the Friday and it turned up on the Tuesday, so it was super fast. Um, I'm going to keep a video log of um, what's included, what I've done, and then obviously later on down the line, the results of the of the test. So here we go. Let's just have a look. So we nicely boxed, nice smooth finish, and inside. We have our little welcome instructions. I'm going to open this. I'll open it slowly so you can have a look. See what you've got. So about activation, you have to uh, obviously log the the collecting equipment against your name. Then we've got how to take the sample. So the important thing here is not to eat drink smoke or chew gum for 30 minutes before gathering the saliva sample so i didn't take it straight away i've i've waited till um the following day so i received it yesterday I waited till the following day because i then i know that i've i've slept the night without eating anything um so that's um that's my theory behind that there's your instructions a few more instructions there placing it in the post um, they pay for return postage uh, but it did cost me 20 pound postage so they they advertise it in the uk they advertise it 79 pounds for the dna kit but it's 20 pounds for delivery uh, it was a quick delivery um but for me 20 pounds is quite a lot and uh, you don't you don't spot well i didn't spot that delivery charge until later on in the process but hey um, I still wanted to go ahead with it. So that's the instructions. Then we have the actual kit. Now I've blocked out here that you can see there's our collection uh, tube with a with a funnel that you spit into. You've got to spit up to that level, so it's quite a lot of spit. And then you pull all that out and put the cap on. When you put the cap on, it must break a seal and it releases this blue stabilizing fluid which which allows the dna in the saliva i guess to stay usable so it's not going to degrade um i've blocked these off with some some tape because there's some some numbers on there but so that's basically that's the bones of the kit those two pieces uh then you've got your collection bag which again is i don't know a mylar bag for collection so you put that in there just an added layer of security to it and then you've got your prepaid box and this is going back to Ireland no stamp required it's already been paid for yeah so that's it so shortly I'm going to take the test do some spitting and wait in another half an hour because I have had a drink this morning so my, my little bit about waiting um, maybe failed a little bit but I have had a drink and I'm going to wait that a little bit longer than 30 minutes and then I'm going to take the test and I'll um, show you that. Okay so it's uh, time to take the test so let's have a look, let's open this up. A little pack. Feel this back. Okay. Right, so I'm going to try and do this without showing the numbers. Just, I don't know. Just for whatever reason. So I've got a spit up to there. It looks like. I don't know if I don't know if that's the whole. The whole channel from there to there, or if there's a stopper in it. But this isn't going to be the most, the nicest thing to watch, but I'm going to spit into it. And it says I need to fill it. Oh no, there we go. I need to fill it to that line, so we're, we're already part way. So let's try not to overfill it. But let's see. 
suddenly my mouth's gone really dry. When you need to spit, you can't spit. That looks about right. There's some. I'm gonna let that just settle a bit because there's some frothy spit in there. I don't know if that's gonna. The bubbles are gonna go. I'll do one more. That should be enough, if not too much. Right. So we're gonna pull this off. It goes off the top, and we get our stabilizing fluid. And let's put this in. And we've got to do it really tight, and I'm guessing it's going to break a seal. In theory. There you go, you can see. Dropping down, there we go, brill. So I reckon that's taken my, my little sample. You may have seen it then. So, let's have a look at the steps. So we've done the spit, we've done the top. Shake tube for at least five seconds, the camera's going to shake now. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. That's at least five seconds. A bit more. Okay, easy bit. Tube in the bag. Hmm, what's that? I don't know what that is. A wipe, maybe to wipe the sweat off here. Insert cap, seal the collection bag, put bag in return. Don't forget to activate the test. Blah, blah, blah. I don't know, I'm going to keep that in, send it back. And fingers crossed, we get some interesting results. That is now ready to be popped in the post and they say 10 weeks so in 10 weeks the results should be back now I am thinking obviously it's going to tell me a lot of stuff that I don't know but the things that I do know although they're coming in backwards are that that is correct as is that and it's going to Ireland backwards, but Ireland. And that is correct as well. So I know I've got Welsh on my dad's side, English and Irish on my mum's side, and whatever else. Well, that's what we're going to find out. So hopefully this hasn't been too boring for you, but it's, I'm not very good at making videos. But this is just to show you the process. And um, I'll come back when I um, get the results. Cheers, bye.